King Jaja of Opobo. Jaja was born in 1821 in Igbo land, Nigeria. Information suggests that his birth name was Banaso of Guarosarumba. At the age of 12, he was sold to the slave trader Chief Allison of the city of Bani, Nigeria. Jaja's name was changed from his birth name to Jobu Jobuga by Chief Allison. He would be sold again to Chief Madu, the head of the Popu Ani Pepple Royal House. Because he was an imported slave, he was regarded as a lower class slave. Jaja was the name the British gave him, and it is the name that will also stick with him the longest. The slave systems of Bani were classified as socio-political institutions, where a person can be a slave and work their way into becoming the head of state. This slave system was vastly different from the chattel slave systems of North America. Jaja began working as a peddler on the trade canoes of Chief Madu. He would also show how knowledgeable he was about business and trade. Chief Madu was so impressed that he promoted Jaja from a peddler on the trade canoe to an actual successful tradesman. Jaja was well versed in politics and trade, but at this time he focused more on trade to build a solid financial foundation. With the abolition of the slave trade in 1807, palm oil became the number one item of trade in the Bonnie region. Jaja was able to amass a small fortune for himself that would set him up for his next move. Chief Madu would die and was succeeded by his son, Chief Alali, who would die in 1863, leaving a $10,000 debt to Europe and no leader for the people of Bonnie. All of the chiefs who were eligible to become head of the state of Bonnie declined because they did not want to inherit any debt. Jaja stepped to the plate and became the next head of the Annie Pepple Royal House. Jaja was able to reorganize the finances of his house and clear all the debt to Europe within two years. The former slave was able to create wealth within his city state. He was doing such a wonderful job revitalizing his house that other competing houses decided to merge with his Annie Pepple Royal House. Jaja was also able to extend and increase his house's operations within Bonnie and also decrease the number of European trading contacts. Infighting ensued within the Annie Pepple Royal House and Jaja left the house to create his own house, which became Opobo. He was now recognized as King Jaja of Opobo. Bonnie and Opobo were now two independent houses, but Jaja maintained control of the trade and politics in the area. Because of Jaja's control of the area, 14 of 18 houses of Bonnie became houses of Opopo. Jaja was able to monopolize on the palm oil trade and began trading directly with the city of Liverpool, England. His power and influence was seen as a threat by the Europeans. He was quickly offered a treaty of protection by his fellow chiefs in return for the sovereignty of the chiefs. He denied the treaty and continued business as usual. With this power increasing steadily over time, Jaja was able to directly deny trade in the area until a single British firm paid their dues. British wanted the cessation of the trade to stop by threatening Jaja, but he continued with his plan. Unbeknownst to Jaja and many African people, European countries divided Africa into regions they were going to conquer, which was called the Scramble for Africa. The area of Opobo was designated for the British, and they were armed with one of the most powerful navies in the world. Jaja was asked to meet with the British leadership upon one of their warships. This meeting was a trap for Jaja, and he was arrested, tried, and convicted of treaty breaking and blocking highways of trade. He was exiled and shipped to live on the island of St. Vincent in the Caribbean for four years. After his time in exile, he was on a ship returning to Nigeria, where he would die before his return. The death of Jaja would expose the true intentions of the British, which were to only monopolize and control the resources in the area. King Jaja was able to turn a life of misfortune into a life of success and abundance, despite him being sold into slavery as a child. King Jaja of Opobo, we proudly stand on your shoulders. For more information, please visit www.ontheshoulders1.com.